So I take some distance away, because I'm like, I'm not going to be near that in case it blows up. Me too. Because you just said coal. Kalos has walked past it and is like in the path <coughs> on the other side of the room. <laughs> well, then everybody should uh, get at least far enough away first as we walk by. Then I'll go back and fire the ball. <laughs> so we're walking and then as we're leaving the room, then I fireball the area. <laughs> So, unless it makes a dex save. <laughs> it doesn't need to make a dex save. As you chuck mm -hmm. the- as you chuck the firewall at the patch of grass, a massive hand, dark in nature, but less of, like, actual substance, more of shadow, emerges and just snatches your fireball mid-flight. And then it just has it in its hand. As it plays with the Sith Fireball, still going on, even Run, though it should have run. Let me finish. Shut up. <laughs> uh, as, as it seemingly plays with the Sith Fireball and the Shadow changes in almost, you know, living flame. As then it squashes the fireball in its uh palm. And it looks seemingly with its six fingers. And all those fingers extend and all of them slowly close as if to beckon. You blessed it. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Really? It's a good thing we... Great, I'm too far away to help, I guess. Oh no, we... I was at the edge of the room. So I can do hey, that. At least, if, at least if he rolls a nat 1, he can re-roll. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. For some reason, my, my uh, stream is uh, dying all over the place. Right. No. Right. Hey, it happens. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, I want to not have that. Yeah, too bad. It only how, get worse. Many, how many marks of teal have you used up? This isn't a mark of teal. I know, I know, but like overall, I know, but like overall, like, man, you're just not rolling high at all. Yeah, finally, thank God. Never 17? Le nevertheless, you proceed to go towards the grass. Ah, oh, boy. However, Uh, you do not step on the grass, you barely go mere inches in front of it as the flaming ham becomes smaller and smaller as you approach. And then... Um... Uh, as you approach and just look at it, realizing your body is still under some sort of control, not really abling to move although you can clearly uh control some part of your psyche as you are the witness of this the hand stops almost in front of your face and then slowly caresses your chin as it's a singes. javelin hits it in the back araxis i'm throwing a javelin at it from where I'm at. <laughs> the javelin goes through the hand. As. Bluster. There is this sensation. This epiphany. Of. You, the scalding pain. And it's. Hot enough. To a certain degree. It's the point where you want to just scream. And barely tolerable as it caresses you for a few seconds, then you hear a voice echo in your head. Don't do that again, Derry. 
I'll see you soon. As the hand submerges back into the grass, and you are left with a very, very heated chin. Like you touch it, you feel you feel your own hand <laughs> recoil from the pain, but it's not burnt. It's like almost like almost like you assume mere degrees away from actually burning you. There's a bit of a pause, a long pause. And then he slowly turns, heel turns back with a finger, his right uh, right hand up at a 90 with pointing to the air. It's like, not to everybody. Do not touch it. Do not try to attack it. We were not going to. <laughs> I could have told you that earlier. Perhaps next never... time when there is a unknown patch of grass or frankly anything else in the room we do not immediately blow it up. Eh? Is the javelin ah. still like stuck in the patch of grass? Ah, uh, I see you threw through it. Uh. Yeah. yeah, I was basically aiming so it would land like right in front of Blaster. Oh, well, I mean, if it is, then yeah, it is in the grass, but I mean, you can pick it up. Or at least try. <laughs> Grimclog walks off to Blaster and Mage hands the javelin back. Mm. It's, it's less than 10 pounds, is it? Should be. Yeah. <laughs> then my mage head can do it. And, uh... I flow it over to you, Kalis, and, and then I'll look at but Blaster. I, 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 I nod. And I mean, up. now we know for sure! He just walks. <laughs> did, the, did the spear get marked at all by the grass? Ah, uh, no. It's, it's very... It's the same. Also, I said see you soon. Anyways, let's go. See you soon. Mm. Well, I might have to thing. give it something to keep it on its, say, on its good side. In any sense, just avoid it. Don't make eye contact. Mm. What? Also, also, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, somebody just, just had Minecraft cave ambiance on their mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, with that being said, uh, yeah, that's your encounter. Roll me another d10, anybody. Next down the line! This is... A three. 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 Nice. Uh, so... You do... Eventually. One ring through. Uh, realizing something, though. Uh, remember how I told you, like, two days ago? You know, some, some destroyed, uh... Uh... You know, furniture, basically only the frames left. Yeah. Uh, that is more apparent, but this time not only in the actual uh, uh, houses that you pass very frequently, but also outside. Frames of tables and seats start to essentially litter uh, the pathways, the walkways. Uh, you can really almost... Hmm? What are the chair seats, like, what are they made out of? Like uh, wood? basically wood or some sort of stone. But when I... All the wood that you touch, it is extremely lightweight, and any actual pressure mm -hmm. in it basically breaks apart. And same goes for the stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> The frames, are they, uh, like, moved around as if people saw something coming and were rushing away? 
Like, uh, is there signs of a commotion from you this, can, like, You can roll me investigation. While we do that, can I see if this is any sort of architectural origins for any other civilization that would have been after it? Ah. True. Ah, yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. Uh... 14, by the way, for investigation. There you go. So what would I roll? Uh, a... Investigation and a history. Investigation and history. Ooh, yes. boy. Uh, where did that put Alright. And history. Alright. So. Ah. They're both the same. Uh, so let's... take the one that's more funny. Hmm. This nine plus nine makes eighteen. Ooh. Twenty-six. You you do find uh, several uh, samples of architecture. Um. And the main reason, the main thing you can surmise is that everything is universal. All the chairs are seem seemingly built the same, out of the same wood. That's why it is, some of it is still uh, there. Uh, mm -hmm. Same goes with stone. Although, the stone is... You of all people would know stone... Uh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Here's the thing. This is this 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 is not stone. What you realize? This is some sort of amalgamation of stone. Almost like you see magically made or some 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 artificial made. This is not natural consistency. Uh, of any rock you would know that, you know, you could make stuff out of. Oh, very, very interesting. Uh, you could, could wait, I made you roll this way, right? This right? You made, yeah, you made, uh, the uh, 18 okay. was the investigation, yeah. 26 there was is, history. There is one, one reference you can get to the stone. Mm -hmm. uh, it is rarely used, uh, this material. Uh, it is quite expensive to make, and it's it's been uh, throughout the ages in the empire. Although it has has not it, it has fallen out of fashion, and that is cement. Ah. I see. So these, although yes. although uh, cement was mainly used for as a as a as a binding agent for stone and all that so to make sure to to have additional strength. Well, this is solely made out of similar material, but maybe a lot more finer, better quality. Ah. I'm gonna take uh, a sample. Would be yeah, a, a good sa size sample. <laughs> a sample would be extremely practical to bring. Yes, this seems to be some finer form of cement, the binding agent for old building of stone structures. But this one seems higher quality. Oh, what a find! I'm sure, I'm sure the builders guilds would love this one. Uh. <laughs> Who's what's everybody's reaction to him getting <laughs> excited over cement? Kayla seems apathetic. <laughs> oh, strong. good for you. Uh. <laughs> My head is uh making a. <laughs> Is distracted by a, a certain craft at the moment. Well, if, if, 
for its own investigation, we should probably move on. Okay. Uh, and you stop one more time for, for the final day. As on day three, you should reach the elevator that will lead you to the plaza where Red is. Oh. Araxis, did yes? you give me the result of my investigation? Uh, with 12? With a 14? Uh, yeah. And what did you ask for exactly? I was I was wondering if there was a uh, if there was what if there was a commotion like oh yeah commotion uh looking at it seemingly uh what what because uh, you know a lot of uh, fragments and all that it's kind of torpor seemingly by the looks of it where you find like a good bundle of furniture there are relatively present to showcase what was happened to gain this epiphany that there was no panic there was no rush there is as most most things have fell over mainly because the material uh got basically uh destroyed through time uh it doesn't seem like there is was any any dislocation of furniture that would indicate some people were throwing, moving rapidly the things in order to run in any direction. Interesting. Alright, good to know. So! Uh, with that being said, uh, your, your second day comes so close. How would you like to spend your rest night yeah. hmm. I mean are there any buildings around any shelter we could find? plenty okay. put our pot boy in the middle in the doorway <laughs> <laughs> the path is blocked <laughs> you need the polka flute to get him to move. Uh oh. <laughs> the polka flute. Yeah, it's all. Ring <laughs> the doorbell. Nin would oh, actually. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no go. On. Well, well, go for it. <laughs> no, I, I was just going to say. Nin would actually turn to the group and say, Well, now that I assume we're going to spend more time together as a group. What actually made you go on this investigation anyway? Ask in the group. Mm. Uh, who's going first? Kalis would kind of speak up first. I am looking for something. <clears throat> mm hmm? Any one particular? You see Grinklock adjusting his mask. A deal yes. for information, that is all. <laughs> you're you're saying Cal Calcius? Or Kellis. <laughs> calcium. Yeah, calcium. <laughs> Get the rat of the bones. <laughs> Kellis would kind of, like, ponder on what to answer and respond. A family member. She just not went, went through an area went through the area where we first got this job. Seems seemed to have gotten the job before us. And she wasn't one of the people that we came across when we first entered the temple. No. She was the one that left. Hmm. But when I am given a job, 
I do not just abandon it for my own ideals. As much as I wish to find her, this seems to have taken priority for the moment. Mm, and not. Was she have magical capabilities or not? That is what she left to find out. Hmm. I don't have to talk with this in uh, with the uh... <clears throat> gosh, sorry. The platinum sees about that one. There's somebody with magical potential running around. They would know about it. Blaster, roll an insight check. <laughs> Lovely. Seventeen. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you... You've gotten enough of a sense of Kalos's moods to know that the sharp look he gives you is a warning as much as anything. Like, oh. telling you to back off, though he doesn't say it with words. Well, we all know I'm a head here. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, I bet he's off in a corner just, just doing something. Yeah, as you hear, as you hear, like, the strained click. Uh, DM, is it fair to say I'm done with my uh, cra crafting now? Wait, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's the first roll you made, actually? Uh, uh, the first roll I made was on clarification, yeah. I think. One second, I'll double check. On clarification was actually a 41. Uh, the second roll I made was a 28. Roll me another one. Oh. All right. Uh. <laughs> Tag him aside for a second. I was just about to explain why I'm here, though. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> there is. Um, mm -hmm. And as you're crafting, um, Blester, uh, you hear a... You hear you hear his mumbling, a closer than before. Usually it's just frantic and unintelligible. But... Uh, but you pick up a bit more this time as he's crafting, and you'd think he'd be mumbling about what he's crafting, but it's... it's not. It's something different. Was and, it a language I would know, or is it something else? Well, part of it is. Uh, you, you can hear the dialogues which switch from Gnomish to Common quite frequently. Mm. If you know Gnomish, then you understand all of it. If you know Common, then you understand about half of it. I am very well kitted to learn most, if not all, languages. <laughs> all right, and so this is the. Uh, all right, so I was. That is a thirty-five. So I didn't cut off the. Uh, I would say yeah. During during the. Uh, during the rest. All right, I'll, I'll and I'll need to give you stats for it. Mm -hmm. And I will give it the replicating enchantment. <laughs> Grenades <laughs> are <does>. magical. <laughs> can, you, can you just tell me what it does? Um, this is this fires as many grenades as I can get it to. 
Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> it's made a grenade launcher. <laughs> Since grenades are non-magical, it's an infinite yeah. grenade launcher. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, with that uh, said, he kind of, and the mumbling you hear, though, uh, Blester, you hear, uh, you hear, um, oh my god, boy, don't do it, it'll be a mistake. Not for mortal minds. Mistake. And, Araxis, can I roll a separate history check? Uh-huh. Of how I ended up on that rock. Oh, yeah. And this will determine what he hears as well. Sure. And... 27. On a 19. You know what? You know what? <laughs> you take a pick. <laughs> what does what is, what is my head want to know he figures out when it comes to his I, back he's 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 trying to remember everyone's talking about who they are and why they're here he knows why he's here so the question comes who he, who he was what did, what did he do before this what's his job maybe a hobby what was what was his career? <laughs> career. Well, thinking on it, pondering on it. Let's see, let me check. Do you remember? Ah. <laughs> uh... You remember wood on wood whacking loudly, echoing voices, claiming order, crowds of unpleasant people in blue as the ocean rose. You remember your name being called out, remember recognizing it, remembering the verdict. Remembering who you were at the glimpse and what you have done. Exact thing you do not recall, but you know it was terrible. And you knew at that point that the punishment was more than deserving. As other individuals got it significantly more harder, severe punishment that of yours. Verdict. Verdict. Chosen. Judgment. Mistake. Not mine. Are you all right? What? Hey, that! No, boom! And you hear the click. <laughs> all right. All good. Slaps on it. Something comes loose. Almost good. Clicks it back into place. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, call me if you uh, need my assistance again. Sure, I <coughs> he sits down. <laughs> uh, anyway, where were we? Oh, we were talking about why we're here. Yeah, I say as I come on back. Mm, well, yeah, go on. To put, it, to put it shortly, and I put my hands up, palms facing upwards, like. Exactly this? This is the discovery of the century, of the millennium, no doubt. An entire ancient civilization, millions and billions of years old. Long since forgotten, uncovered. Just imagine the things we could find out about them. This is why I became an archaeologist. 
for exactly this moment. It has to be the greatest discovery ever. Even that to sur surpass my, my old mentor. And he's just start, starting to get a bit lost in thought about the fame and all that. <laughs> I see, I see. Kind of, kind of accepts that he's kind of in his own world again. <laughs> you you get the uh, sense of eccentricness <laughs> coming off of him. Oh, well, for the sake of it, my head. Why are you here? I woke up. I was taken. Guided. I followed. Followed so long. Does it? Here. All right. He's talking about. Ah, oh, no doubt he's talking about the beetle he's been following. You'd followed it for that long. Hmm. It talked. It talked to me. Considering what it was and how we got here, it pretty much means he was indeed led by some sort of by our well. Should I say I could contract her? Should <laughs> seem so. I was picked. I was picked. But why? That is the question. Why were any of us picked? Was it truly being picked? Lucky? Fate? Chosen? Perhaps sacrifice? Or perhaps Are you, you were the chosen... You're the one chosen. We would just so happen to be in the, at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. I was the best. Best at what? I don't know. I don't remember. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Hopefully, it comes back to you. In any case, I believe that just leaves one other person to tell us why they're here. Oh, really? Who? I'm Ms. Linnea. Linnea. <laughs> Ms. Linnea, would you like to divulge more details of your journey to here and your reasoning? You are the only one here who has not given anything up. You can see her smile at you and... Just kind of her eyes dissociate for a bit. Look back at you and say, Well, in short, this letter, it was addressed to me. So. Yes, the mysterious letter that somehow is related to most of the metals here. When it comes to why I actually went here, and see her kind of struggle for words. I lost someone. I'm trying to follow in their footsteps. When we're speaking lost, do you mean no longer among us the living or missing? You can just kind of see her shake her head. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
feel free to roll inside, but she's not going to talk about it on her own. Oh, I'm rolling inside because now I want to, <laughs> uh, you know, information. Let's see, my inside is not that good. It's only plus three. <clears throat> Let's see. What are you hiding from me, Gary? 21. Mm. In short, she's talking about neither. But if you want to do more, I'm going to roll deception against that. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to see. I want to see. Let's see. Let's see. You can't, but you realize what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. that's what I. That, that that's what I. <laughs> oh well, wow! There's a lot of numbers that divorce suddenly added. I would have a plus eight, plus three. I only have plus three, a plus six. <laughs> oh well. Well, we don't want to tell us. You can tell us a different day. It's only the, it's only the uh, third or fourth day since we've all met each other. We're still technically strangers. Exactly. You can see a smile again. You're right. Well then, I know at least one of you are still hurting from that la from that encounter. So it might be best if we turn in. I agree, we need our rest. So, you all take a rest. Um, oh. So, I want to do a little something something. Sure. At least, at least when I think after an hour that everyone's asleep. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So, after now, when I think everyone's asleep, uh, I get up and I head out into the streetway and decide to look around a bit. Didn't we put the pot in the doorway? Is he in the doorway? Is he in the he is in the doorway. <laughs> we put him like the boulder. Unless there's a window nearby, you can go through the window. <laughs> is there a window I can sneak out of? There is a window to sneak out. Okay, then I'll just sneak out the window and head into the rooms of the street for a moment. I'll look around, see if I can see anything of note, like anything following us, like maybe mysterious shadows or that kind of thing, because now that I know they're mysterious shadows, I'm getting a bit paranoid. <laughs> uh, roll me perception check. That was almost a roll. Fourteen. No, you don't see anything. Nothing. But you do see an owl perched. <laughs> oh, the owl is checking me. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing still. Good. 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 Your paranoia makes me want there to be glue hands. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I, I guess I can you. rest safely. And I'm going to head back in and go to sleep because clearly I'm just being overly paranoid. Of course. Of course. There's nothing in the, these walls. There's peace and quiet. That's why I'm playing the full theme. Nothing else. And that is why I used Rope Trick. <laughs> to um, be in my own little pocket dimension. <laughs> Nobody can hurt me. Uh, I'm a private for that kind of stuff, so I don't mind. <laughs> so, go all take a long rest. Interestingly enough, you don't really feel any hunger when you wake up or first. Yes, I guess the Elder Sun wasn't lying. Kinda. Don't really have that sensation of food here. Mm. Nevertheless, 
I assume you head out in the morning yep. or whatever the time it is when you wake up. So yep. I'm assuming yeah. that's you're down to one point of exhaustion now, then? Mm -hmm. Since that's the second time. Okay. Yep. So, with that being said and done, a d10, if you will, anybody. Yes, it's my I turn, believe. which is. Yep. Remember, every time I rolled, it always went wrong. It goes horribly wrong. Let's see. <laughs> I have called it. There it is. It Grim, goes horribly wrong. Grim, Grim, you jinxed it by saying it would go wrong. <laughs> it's a one. Give me a second. I, I, I have a picture for this. Hold up. Uh. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, let's see. Uh, uh, I need to find a thing. Uh, there you go. Uh, shit. I'm looking. Where is it? There you go. <laughs> uh, so, as you walk, um, a lot more clear stuff, open stuff. Uh, not, not as wide as the marketplace, but no longer as uh, compact as the past two days. Openings, uh... With sometimes the ceilings reaching what seems to be hundreds of feet high, and uh, just just a lot more wider areas, and relatively fine, relatively. Make sure I get I get right. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a it's just a one. Okay. I wanna yeah, make sure. I wanna. I actually, video. actually, this will, this will, this will fit so nicely. Actually, so, um, until you stumble upon, like, basically the way you go, you, yeah, everybody roll me perception. Mm -hmm. <sighs> perception. Oh, I don't see shit again. <laughs> it's because of the mask. You think? <laughs> I'm just not paying attention right now. Oh, look. I just need to roll better is all. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, only, only Nihil Nihilium has uh, rolled above 10. Everyone else below it or say... <laughs> I'm gonna roll higher, but... no, To put it simply, my head. This, you, this one's. You fun. know it is something. Oh, wait, no, Lester. My head. And there. My it head. Here's for my out. My head, blister, and blister. You both notice in front of you. Seemingly without any notice. Just in your vision, 60 feet ahead of you. Crouched down. Oh, God. Why is it. Why is it. Wait, what? Why is it. That's a that's B and G. Why is that a P and G? Hold up a second, I'm gonna delete this. Hold up. Why is this so <laughs> stupid? Hold on a second, I'm fine. I'm fine. Try again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, keep yeah. I'm gonna start rolling for my uh my owl <laughs> for perceptions now too. Um Alpha. Alpha. Yeah. That's what I'm calling Yeah, my owl. I'm yeah, Alpha. Hooters. It, it's short for Alfonso. You see, oh boy. you see a crimson shrouded entity about six foot tall, while seemingly crouched, its hands callous, almost bony, stony. But the crimson liquid on them is quite runny and uh, wet. As you get closer, the hand slightly shivers, 
and the hood slightly shivers as well. Please, a crumb, a taste. Guessing we eventually all see when we get closer, right? Insight, insight, mm -hmm. bloody insight. insight. What the frick is this? Yeah, insight. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm first ask, I'm asking something. The people who didn't roll high enough, do we see yeah. when we get closer? Yes uh, or no? Uh, you don't. You just walk. So unless, we po <laughs> unless we point it out, which I will most likely do. So only Blaster and uh, my head Ooh. can roll inside at the moment. No, no, I, want... I'm not. I'm not. Say You're continuing to walk. Only, oh, I mean, like only Blaster and my head sees this. Yeah, so, we... they're the only... so they're not the only ones who can roll the, inside, right? The, even if they, even if they pointed out, you don't can't. see it. Yeah. So. Hmm. So... Uh... The 23. Oh, Jesus Christ, no! That's the halfling <laughs> luck right there! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> My hat. Yes. My hat. Just watching! Per this person is trustworthy. You're- 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 oh, Unnatural intuition. Either you're psychotic, or you feel like this is a trustworthy individual. Although, do not cheat this individual. Got it. Got it. I. I. You know what I bet? Huh? I bet that I was the best judge of character. That's what I was best at. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm going to ask. It's like, what did he? What did he make of him? Also, Plus, any any of you actually gonna stop and mm -hmm. tell anyone as you kind of just continue? yeah no we're we're, we're telling we're tell <laughs> if you guys like, like, mm -hmm. as my head walks over. What are you doing? Oh, that uh, may be the individual spirit. over there. There might be another spirit nearby. Yeah, he's right over there. I point towards him. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, just see that my, my head walk. <laughs> It seems this place has a strange effect on the perceptions of people. But a crumb, but a drop, a bag of the food. Do you want food? I'm making my way over there too. It's like, yeah, I'll be right back. Do you want food? <sighs> How close are you approaching? I follow them. I'm, I'm, I'm following like within regardless. five feet of him. <laughs> within five feet of this guy. This guy is completely trustworthy. It I'm takes next you. You, you know. hear this whiff coming, not seeming not from nostril, but for something else. As the creature slightly positions, mind you, this creature is six foot tall. Aha! Yeah, it's like yeah, it's tall. <laughs> it's it's and tall. only it's short height. people can see him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> as, as the red cow looks down at you, my pet. I need blood. Life oh. blood. Mm. How much? It stares at you. And then all of a sudden, the shimmer, the cow shivers, and all of you see this creature in front of you. Uh, there it is. It is about six oh. foot tall and about four feet wide. It's a massive thing. Um, six foot tall? Okay. One thing that you notice uh, six fingers. Not, not. Because that's the real thing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as it, as it seemingly. As what? it, as it, <laughs> as it, um, as it, uh, How much blood? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it seemingly looks at all of you, its scowl unmoving, you also hear this clinkling sound underneath the creature as through the red, the bottom of the red robes, a small, what seems to be silver, uh, gauntlet, uh, kind of falls out and slits through the floor towards you. Uh, from all of you... I'm stealing that gift. <laughs> from all of you, enough to fill this. Why would we do that? How much, how much blood do, you, do uh, I think this would take to do? Uh, if you would split everything equally, you would assume this is not a small, this is not a big bowl. This is not like, a, oh yeah, just all of your blood, please, thank you. No, this is like, give or take, like, six, six shots worth of, uh... Oh, easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Mahet, having lack of self-preservation, walks up to it. Right. <laughs> a a sharp utensil he produces. How, how, uh... How close is the goblet to each of us? Uh, it, it basically was shoved to my head because he asked the question. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 I'm on a train. I will step forward and pick up my head. As much as Touch I, me down! As, as much... <laughs> as much as we will give you your price, I believe I have more blood than this little one. And I pick up no. the goblet. No, and hey, no, the no, no, you messed it. On the side. No, uh, you have to strength take it for me if you want to. You want to take it from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Please, uh, or. Mm. <laughs> right. Alexander. Hi, Alexander. Alexander is here. <laughs> He's being a fellow. Aww. Oh my fellas! He's being a felon. No, he's You're being a fella. Pucker is being a felon. <laughs> no, fella. What is he doing? Being mischievous. Robbing the bank. <laughs> With that smile, mailboxes. Mm. One second, I'm deciding on something real quick. <laughs> oh my god! I'm. Be careful, Kalis, he might bite you. Um, Kalis? I'm, I'm gonna check. You take it. I'm, I'm gonna, you, you take it. I can't roll that high. You take it. But, um, as more as... Mm. Are you going to roll to hit? <laughs> I'm... Not exactly. One second. I need to double read a description of something real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> I pull the pin on the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow up and I act like no, I know no. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, no. oh, we get plenty of blood for the goblet that way. <laughs> I think he's out of grenade, so as, I don't think it's a grenade. As you touch, he's never out. The That's a trick question. <laughs> goblet. As you touch the gauntlet, um, goblet, 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 goblet. Thank you. Oh, no. Sorry. Mm -hmm. As you touch the uh, goblet, it's it's hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> as, <laughs> as I cast heat metal. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's perfect. So, that's exactly a Mahet so, thing. So I have to roll like a con save or something to keep holding it, right? Yep. Yep. Well, uh, you take it off. Okay. To take it off. You can off. Um, okay, or so that base, I'll read it out to you. Um, that uh, any creature, any creature uh, in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage. Uh, and if a creature is holding or wearing an object that takes damage from it, it oh, will succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object oh, if it can. That's the only part that re is relevant to you. It says holding or wearing. I'm afraid that won't do it. Do. I, I did it. That was a, by accident. I wasn't finished typing. A bit cheeky, but all right. <laughs> What's the well, a roll is still a roll, but... uh. 
but uh, you know, sorry, yeah, what's he got? What's he, what, what's he got of beat? One second. Well, it's it's just uh, it's it's my uh, spell cast. That won't change. <laughs> for it, but, uh, yeah, your your DC <laughs> sixteen, I believe. Uh, I'm afraid that fails as it clatters to the ground and scalds your hand. Yeah, I want to do a fun Ask thing. first! Don't take! As it shimmers down in heat and he takes it back up in his hand. You ended your spell that naturally then. Does he also take yep. fire damage then? I, I, I picked mm -hmm. up the hat, by the way. So he can't yeah, yeah. reach it on the well, ground. Well, you said you, let my get, you put my hat back down after you took the... No, I didn't. Oh, I assume I I remember hearing that. I apologize if I misheard. No. Okay. Oh, it drops down. And it's still scalding hot. <laughs> ask first. I will not ask first. When you were about to cut. Can you not get. You can see Grimclog looking at the figure. I apologize. The old one is. Extremely chaotic. You wish to give, clearly, but they're fighting over who's first. I simply did not want him to. Look, it's fine. I, There's a bit of bloodlust. I, I can. A little bit of bloodlust. I can take care of. Uh, Mahat, are you gonna roll damage? Because. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure. I'm sorry, I wasn't really interested in hurting you. <laughs> Um, one second, I need to double check what damage dice, yeah, okay. To take nine points of fire damage. Okay. Do we, so we have to touch the goblet, right? I mean... It is scolding hot at the moment, but yes. I, I am um, asking Araxis, not head. you guys. I mean, no. You just said to fill the cut to to fill it with all of your blood. Okay. Well, mage had the goblet up. Float it to float it. Uh, the mage had it takes everyone. damage unless it rolls a save, mate, and then it's dispersed if it takes damage. I, I hate oh, yeah. to. Right. <laughs> it touches it. It just pfft, and steam. Oh god, give me a second. The dog is going full it berserk. It doesn't say that it's going to happen. Okay. Berserk pupper! <laughs> oh, uh, the pupper is going to the zoomies. No, no, no. By the way, Mehet, oh, I have zoomies. now dropped you. But, by the right. way, um, it doesn't say it would disappear if it touches anything hard. I think you're thinking of unseen No, it takes there. damage. No, no, no. It, if it takes damage, it will... Um, if the hand act, it doesn't have an HP pool. If it takes damage, it will just be destroyed. Are you also willing to just ra give a random guy your blood? <laughs> uh, no, Mahet completely trusts him, Let and Kalius is just trying yeah, to protect I the rest of the head. I don't Mahet because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> as as you know, as you put him you down, could be, you could still be crazy on. and still be a good judge of character. He's no. Hold on. Can I can I can I say something? The hand, the yes. my head, the hand vanishes if it is ever more than thirty feet away from you, or if you cast a spell again. It says nothing about it taking damage. So does it have an infinite HP pool? Can you? Does it? How does that? Oh, I guess that's the DM's call then. Yeah. Um, at that point, because if there's nothing strictly in there, then that's the um. Hey yeah, DM, uh... can the mage hand take damage and be fine? The. Yeah, it, because I looked it up, it says DM at discretion. Yeah, uh, there's the, so, it's DM's so, discretion so, at that So point. heat it, uh, the, DM, the DM does not take, it does, uh, the hand does not take damage from the fire. The mage hand does not take damage from the fire. Ah. Uh. Okay, well then we lift it up and we float it towards uh, the two, because... Well, it, they're fighting over it, but someone has to cut it. Remember, we just have to fill it with our blood. It doesn't matter who's first. It's, it's not, not point! Fair. I'm just gonna turn to the creature. What do you need our blood for? Good question. Good question. Thank you. <laughs> the witness. The drink. 
to live. He's hungry! Squints. I will share, I promise. Oh, nuts, nuts. What do we get out As... of it? I, would, I wouldn't ask that until after we've done it. I recommend not upsetting He gets food! Or let him starve? I'll do it with here, Jeez. my head. Anyway. I'm fine with doing it. There are creatures that we do not particularly want to bother, as we have already seen. I look pointedly at Nihilin. And, and then, then at Blaster. Yeah. Do <laughs> it. <clears throat> but. From a logical view, I have the most blood, either I or Grimcloak. So it would be, it would be best if we went first. If I recommend. Is the heads will share with Kalius. Kalius, try to be good. Nuts. <laughs> he nods to himself. <laughs> I would imagine all of us would need to do it. We should. Okay. So who's cutting their hat? So I'm guessing we all have to cut our hands and drip blood in there. How much? Yeah. And Alexis, don't worry about. Alexis, don't worry. I, I'm. I'm wondering. Is is the metric for filling this cup hit points basically that you're using? We each sacrifice some hit points to put some in the cup. Uh, no. This would be one puncturing, one uh, piercing damage or slashing damage, depending on what you use. Just to get it open. Yeah. My head, and, by the way, uh, at that point, as he says he will share with Kalis, Kalis, he hands you a small surgical-like utensil. It is very clean. I'm guessing I'm floating the freaking uh, cobbled over to uh, my hat. I guess he's mm -hmm. the smallest. He, fades, I... he takes it in his hand and he holds it up just I... high enough so Silas can comfortably. Chaos. <laughs> I, 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 I hold my <laughs> wrist over it in just a small cut and put about a quarter full in there. My hat does the same. Um, are you, aren't you going to do it? I, I, I kind of, I kind of like, I look down at my head. May I? As I reach out for the goblet. He's, he, he thinks for a moment, nods. And he, <laughs> okay, I take the goblet and kind of hold it out to the rest of the group. Like any other offers. Oh, my head can go! No, you've already had your turn. You have already went. No, I've already... Oh, I did! I was doing it, too. <laughs> there. So it's only near him and Grimclock. Ah, uh, Grimclock looks at the creature for a moment. Is there any blood that is forbidden? No. Okay. Then okay. Grimclock will add some blood to it. Just enough for Neelum to do yeah, some. Look at the creature once. If I put my blood in this, will you have any control over any of us? There is a pause. What? Till you hear a resounding... Oh. Inside? Inside. <laughs> 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 completely trust this guy, don't worry. Nuns, nuns. Okay. And I trust the madman. Uh... 18. Oh, you don't know. He's saying the truth. He's being honest with your no. But hey, oh my, uh, my head is trusting him. That doesn't mean anything. 
I kind of, I, I, I look. Nihilum and I both look at the creature, and then I look at Nihilum. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I say we do it. I don't. Well, I feel it. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that it would cause more bother than more harm than good if we refuse. I suppose so. And you would kind of like pull up her sleeve, and. If all of you are already doing it, then I might as well. As she um, makes a small cut on her arm and pours some blood in. So all of you fill the gauntlet with your own blood. Yeah. And then Kalos the is back. the last one who was holding the goblet. Hand hands it to the figure. Yeah. Are you are you just like putting it or are you as he has, like, his hand extended, are you going to just put it in his hand? I'm going to put it in his hand. He puts... he... <laughs> he puts his, uh, the hand around the, around the gauntlet, making sure that it is finely around. And then he slowly retracts his hand towards his uh, hood. And then the gauntlet lifts up, but you do not really hear anything. The entire play, the entire thing. Sh oh yeah. Oh. This is. This Give me a second. Ah. Uh, oh. So. As he drinks it all, can you hear greedy thick gulps of uh, your own blood being drunk? Uh, thick? There you go. Oh god. Hold on a second. Why is it? I get a little Wait a minute, the pot didn't put any in there. <laughs> the pot is just like standing there like... You, you think, no, no, like people think there's like technology in the pot. No, it's like the, oh yeah, Kool-Aid guy. It's just filled with blood. We just don't know it. As it drains deeply, you all of a sudden hear crackling sounds as the creature seems to stand up. Um, as it stands up, you realize the shimmering cloak fades away, revealing less to be of, um, uh, of cloth and more of fleshy material. In front of you stands a 12-foot-tall creature. With jagged wings, jagged claws, faceless, uh, face, except for a large, toothy mouth. It spreads its wings wide, seemingly reinvigorated with strength. Kalis kind of, kind of instinctually, like, Noticing that pretty much you know, the room got a lot more tense when this happened. He kind of holds a hand up, motioning for the rest of the party to pause and wait. As he is like has a hand on a weapon and is just watching the furthest one forward. To like, he's touching his mask again. He's touching his mask, like, ready to grab it, to grab it, so, grabbing it, so, picking him up. To feel strength course through my flesh once more. Oh, I miss this. Kind of gives a glance over all of you. Children. 
but not. For there are no living here. He takes a deep breath through non-existing sockets in his face as his wings seem to regain vibrant crimson coloration and almost like a small glint of reddish mist around him. Divinity, nobility, dread and despair. How deliciously sweet. Oh, whenever did I respond, you can see Grimcloak, you know, pushing his mask a bit more against his face. Now, the question is, which one of us is which? You... King Kalos kind of speaks up. Divinity. It does not respond to your uh, words. As it seems to enjoy. Hello! It's your whips. Oh, sustenance. You gotta crave more. But this will do. This will do. Seemingly. Losing concentration himself, he looks back at you again. My hat. Hello! You hated me, a stranger. In the halls of dead souls. Brave that you are. Oh. Um, can I ask a question? At least out of character, but. Sure, ask the um, question to this thing. Do no, not a, not a, not the character, not the character, but more like. Does Grimcloak recognize the form as some sort of demonic entity? Uh, everybody can roll me a history, nature, or religion, or survival. Nah, I trust this guy. I trust this guy too, but I just want to know. Uh, and I'm gonna yeah. go with history. What, what was it? History. Did you say? Did, did, you, did you say survival at the end? Yes. <laughs> Great, well found. Yes, um, 13 mm -hmm. for history. Hell yeah. It's a nice religion in here. None of you have any reference <laughs> in your mind what this creature could be part of or related to. As it cool. continues to speak, you cool. made yourself an ally. Fine day. Grimcloak, what do you want to ask of him? Oh! Now I'm gonna ask the question. An ally. Alright. What do we call you then? I'm asking for a name. Yeah, I know what you're asking. Call me as you wish. Your... I lost my name long ago. Lost! Nice to meet you, Lost! <laughs> there are... There's a... There's an audible sigh from Kalis as he says... Lost... Uh, yeah. probably so. But then... Form... A formal hello to you, Loss. Let's uh, go of his mask. So, no longer tugging it or anything. <laughs> so, Lost. Who are you? I am a survivor. Of a long, long cataclysm <laughs> that occurred a long, long time ago. Oh. There are others like you. 
Plenty. And are you the, uh, are you the, uh, residents of this area? Like, the, uh, the people of this civilization? You could say so. Oh, 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 this is great news. Not only did I did we find an ancient civilization, but we also found people living in it. I must depart, however. This new power that I received, it's a leverage to repay a few debts. You have two questions to ask of me. And one day, potentially, we will see each other again. So ask. <clears throat> okay, first off. We'll leave the questions to Blaster. First off, uh, debts paid. What do you mean by that? There are brethren stronger than me that wishes me dead. With your help, I have the advantage. Okay. And where are the others of your people? Spread out across mm -hmm. endless caverns, patterns of this place and beyond. It's just we've been here for three days and haven't seen anyone but you. That means that it's very sparse. All right. And then, it was a pleasure meeting you. We'll see you late. We'll see you once your business is concluded. I have a gift! As he kind of, right before he goes off, the, while, while Blester was asking these questions, mm -hmm. um, that, you know, um, I use my power to create a, a temporary, uh, I'm going to say, uh, empty donut like treat. I don't know if the donuts exist in your world, but it's something equivalent. Yeah, if yeah not. they do exist. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And you know, it's it's not nearly as much as the goblet, and I am gonna yeah. heal myself after. But I'm just gonna make a small cut, and it's a blood filled donut, and I give <laughs> treat for treat <laughs> instead of jelly. Because I heal myself. <laughs> it's blood. Oh, yes. <laughs> Man, I love. I love Duncan Draculas. <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> so I as, hand this to the guy. As, I as it as it as it listens to you, it all of a sudden it reaches one of its limbs towards its mouth, and you hear a loud snapping sound as he throws in front of all of you a small piece of a tooth, a fang, something uh, slick and very pointy. Stumble upon the Crimson Courts. This will be a bargaining chip of sorts. Oh. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Farewell. As he as he then gets on all Enjoy the donut! <laughs> as he gets on all fours and starts what seems to be hiss as his entire body manifest into this blood mist and almost like picked up by hurricane winds just goes down one hallway basically to the side to the left just rapidly in a matter of seconds he is gone in the darkness did we just encounter an ancient vampire we uh, just encountered us <laughs> Perhaps something similar. There you go. I'm, I'm looking at the two cycle. Very fascinating. We have. There's I not mean... only an ancient civilization, there's also life in it. And the things that they could tell it. us. If you can call it life, either way, at least it wasn't demonic or aggressive. We have. Well, we don't know exactly what they are or what they came from or anything else other than what they look like now. But 
I'm not sure that we'll figure that out as we go along. Well, know it, it seems to have given this power from our blood. Huh. Yep, Grimclog is touching his mask again when talking about blood. So. Hmm. That is a very interesting development, too. Well, we do, we do not I am very glad you were right about him, Mahet. But we cannot be sure how many others will be as willing to bargain. Oh, of course. Uh, just like I any. Doubt. <laughs> I doubt that a creature that seems to gain sustenance from blood in, may I remind you, a place where we do not require it. And to note, he said there's a lot of them here. We can't give every single one of them blood. But, but he did say that they are very well separated under an almost infinite underground civilization, meaning that this place is vast. So we'll probably find pockets of them, but I don't think we're going to find every single person that lives down here. To be certain, however... It vampire, took us three days to find one! To be certain, however, vampires are weak to silver weapons, correct? As the story goes. Also, uh, divine. It may be best if we have a couple of those, if at all possible. We figure that along the way. Again. Well, but right now we have. So, as you continue, uh, you you make your way back, uh, basically following the path after your little exchange of blood, uh, and then finally, finally, uh, with uh, exclamation and happiness in his voice, uh, your boy. Your pot announces good news. Merely a few minutes away until the elevator. Good. I wonder what we actually find there. I need to. I need to stop them. Uh, passive perception for everybody. Uh, my head, I guess you've sensed it first. It's getting chilly. As you're walking, following the pot towards the direction, there's this, you know, this shiver, like so the, the temperature drops slightly. Uh, and soon soon after all of you start to feel the cold escalate it is not biting yet but the clothing that you wear for some feel less and less suitable for the environment that you're in And as the minutes pass, you finally approach um, the said elevator. You you basically see the, the last like corridor that leads to this massive opening that is several. You don't know how much it is dark, uh, but several hundred feet in all directions, with no pathways or anything, and the flooring. 
has changed from less brick or singular metal composition and more ornate symbols scratchings uh, a language that none of you understand written not randomly by somebody or yes yeah, scrawled in more like part of the floor's decor Write it, write it down, write that down. Yeah, <laughs> and as you make it to the to the elevator, in front of you there is darkness as the paw pronounces, uh-oh. Uh, you uh. go to the pot and you realize it is a dead end. There is, there is a free fall. But looking at the bottom, you see a shimmering blue light. Uh, that highlights a massive platform that has been tilted sideways. Uh, you assume whatever the elevator was, that was the thing lodged in this square. Uh, how, gaffed. how far? How far down is it? Miles. However, however. Looking around in this platform with, to the elevator, looking to your left and to the right, there are stairways that go up and down. If you go left, it goes down. If you go right, it goes up. <laughs> clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh. How would you like to proceed? I guess we have How to wide table. is the shaft? Uh, the shaft is... Uh, you assume... Is at least 300-400 feet wide. Well, time to take the stairs. Yep. Anybody's for agreement, because, you know, some of you... Is it are... like a straight staircase down, or does it go in circles? It goes in circles. Does this mean the... that, theoretically speaking, sled? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Nope. Mahet, I, have a, I have a better idea that Mahet would have, but Kalos would not. Did he say okay, up or down? down? Featherfall near the bottom. We could. Because but... I just... But can what if me, I my head can you roll me a perception check? Cause I'm gonna say and an insight check and an insight check. Perception and insight, got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh no, I have one thing I want to try and do. <laughs> 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 sing for the tears, sing for the lives, sing for the I think my favorite video with that is actually. The, if I'm just looking down here. I'll just, I'll just activate. Since curve. we're here for a bit, I'll just activate my passive and take 24. 24. Looking down, you see the blue line, but you see something beyond it. It looks, it looks shiny. Glistening. Shiny, you say? Yeah. Uh, can you roll me an insight check? I want to see what your brain says to you. Got it, got it. How does brain neurons activate? Do they activate? Do I just decide I no longer need neurons? Uh, let's see. Insight is... You know, and given the situation, I'll use flash of genius. Which I needed. 17. You have, you have in your brain all of a sudden a masculine urge to just jump down, just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Mahet looks at you guys. No! Kalis is already moving forward. So, before you do, before you do that, I can just send 
my owl, my my familiar down there. The it check will be ours. <laughs> hmm. It is miles deep. I remember we're going down. down. And and Kalis kind of looks at Mahet, kind of sighing. He's trusting. <laughs> You've seen the spell before. This, to the crazy one. Frankly, he has proven his skill at it before, so. Before we do anything, can I, can I, um, real quick try to cast Comprehend Languages on the writings on the floor? The writings on the wall? The, the, the writings on the floor? The, oh, the floor. decorative writing. Yeah. Yes. What do, what, do you, what do you wish to figure out? What they say. What they say, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> Alright. They they look like so, so comprehend languages doesn't work? No. Damn. Nope. Nope. Damn. Okay. Does feather fall work? <laughs> Are you gonna... Last time. Time before that. In the time before that. But feather fall also is a duration of one minute. <laughs> yeah, so, which is why I was No, you just cast it when you're... It... When you but, just cast it when you get low, it's a reaction spell. But terminal velocity... <laughs> it's it what the spell's built it for. It slows you down. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> the spell... slows you down, like... It is literally designed for this exact situation. True. Instead but what about? It, but there's bless, there's six bless of us. When do you pull a parachute? Hmm. Right as you jump off a ledge. Maybe I like the the ride down. <laughs> we don't have a ride down. Your parachute would snap thirty feet down. <laughs> Maybe not that, but like a mile down, it would snap. And you would free fall anyway. No, I so I was saying I was saying him at the bottom rather than the stairs. I don't know about the physics of this. Featherfall has is five targets. There's six of us. Yeah, you just cast it on the you just cast I just cast it on the pot and sit on the pot. That's easy. Alright, I guess I'll just use Featherfall on myself then. Oh, or that. That works. Um <laughs> No, right. you're just all jumping. If we're around. gonna, if we're gonna do it, we all might as well. <laughs> yeah. You, if you are, if you, right. if you would rather take the stairs, then feel free. It's gonna tensor's disc down it. Spell won't work. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna jump? Or... Yep. yep. Um, speaking of, like, since there's a limit of what five people uh, per spell, and Blesters volunteered to cast it. Stares at the other five people. Mahet jumps. Kalis <laughs> is right behind Go Mahet. Go after him. He's, he's, <laughs> you gotta be close enough for him. Kalis <laughs> <Come on. laughs> is right Kalis behind Kalis and Mahet are going together. Like, literally, <laughs> literally the Kratos fall. <laughs> <laughs> so, do the old, uh, all of you... Harrison Ford, get off my plane! <laughs> So Mahat and Kalis go together. Does Bluster take the other crap? <laughs> well, it depends on if they jumped right after. No, no, well, she would just be like, uh, Well, he's I don't dead. Want to jump. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, good luck. Well, uh, I'm just gonna uh, say, I'm assuming other people have done, are uh, going. I nearly. Is any... I nearly. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I nearly accidentally almost posted Alexandra's, and then this is what you see. <laughs> Just a massive dog. <laughs> uh, I pet the dog. Well, good luck. Good luck pet. taking the stairs, oh. I say, as I'm slowly walking towards the edge, waiting for them to make up their minds. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going. It's, fu it's fine. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Well then, those two are down there. I can feather fall the rest of you. 
Okay, okay. Have you so... got to come back? Pot, can I come in with us, Pot? Pot, Pot. No. Or did the Pot already jump? No, I will go get the brew. Goodbye. Pong, Pong, Weezy. <laughs> I would have preferred... Get the what? The brew. Walking. Yeah, he's going the back to the brew. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I would have oh. preferred walking to see if we can thought... see other interesting spots. <sighs> we can do Very it on the way sorry. back up. You're all the way. You're falling down there. You can't talk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, you just hear anyway. me shouting for <laughs> anyway, shouting it up. Anyway, shouting up. as you as you fall rapidly down, uh, you go past the blue light ahead, Celius. After a minute and a half, and you know what happens when you do. As far as the eye can see, you see mountains bristling and cold underground that seem to be stretching for hundreds of miles. And seemingly there's another 10 miles of going down. <laughs> um, as you free fall, uh, question, my head. Yo. When are you gonna cast better water better fall? Are you gonna cast better fall? Uh, <laughs> take fall damage. Um, no, um, there is instant uh, death. <laughs> uh, frankly speaking, actually, no. Kaylee has more than enough HP to survive maximum velocity. That's, That's why he's scared. If it's... Yeah, it's... Kaylee's isn't scared because he can survive the fall. <laughs> it's like if you can't do it, it's his neck, not mine. Yeah. No. Um. With that said. Um, that I'll, I'll cast it as soon, you know, as soon as we're uh, close enough yeah. to the ground where we can... So, so here's the thing. There is no ground. As you land, which seems to be mountains, you come to the realization, it's not mountains of stone and rock. It's paper. It's paperwork! <gasps> it's paper. Oh, All it's, it's the hell. hundreds of miles of everything you see. The actual mountains that are cold and bristling with with furious, painful, bitter cold are paper as you fucking land and you start to slide off pieces of paper just <laughs> And now I'll cast yeah, Tensu's disc to give us a solid platform for me and Kaylee's to stand on. Yeah. You wait you wait for a good minute. And then you see someone else up in the sky free falling. <laughs> same same blister uh, for Neil and Buster and the uh, Grim Cloak. You're all witnessing these massive mountains, but as soon as you get close to the ground towards where you see Mahel and Kaleus are uh it's not it's not rock it's paper it's all paper what if we set our own fire no so the new fire it looks like <laughs> ah, <if you're> right. <laughs> ah uh, germany that is uh that's bullshit there aren't any mountains in germany uh, yes they are uh, propaganda. Uh, one because thing you, you okay. One thing you notice <laughs> immediately, though, specifically you, Nihilum, the pieces of paper are filled with letters of unrecognizable language. There is more than enough to read through Blaster if you could comprehend them. Nihilum, on the other hand, these pieces of paper, all of them, say same. Pieces of uh, of paper as your letter. Hey, Araxis, are these destroyable? You try. You try. You can't. I take as many as I start shoving them in my pack of holding. <laughs> we have use for these later. <laughs> He's just like You're going just to like make Kelly's like look. paper armor, like the exactly. <laughs> I would like to use them to try to decipher this language before you do. There's plenty! There's plenty! <laughs> I just... Hey, Blester, Blester, you're falling through the sky. You can't talk. <laughs> uh, no, we landed. We landed. No, we landed. 
I'm up there. Yeah. Did you land in the same place? Rax, how close did we land to each other? I would say 100 feet. And there's like a shit yeah. ton of paper in between. Did it, did it, Mahat, didn't we like slide down the hill on a tensor's disc? <laughs> um, no, but I can make a sleds. <laughs> Don't worry, if you want, we can literally do the Zelda run. <laughs> um, Tensor's disc doesn't like going up and down. Ah. Um, with that said, Mahat looks over you. Looks at what you- What are you wearing for armor, Kalius? Nothing. He's not wearing armor. <laughs> Barbarian. He's wearing he's wearing what seems to be like classic desert uh, traveling clothes. What do you have? And last two. Do you, what do you have for a shield? And what do you have for an axe? No shield. A really beat up old axe. It looks like it looks like it's like twenty years old. Help collect! I make new things for you. Anyway, bag of holding. anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, pieces of paper everywhere. Uh, the language not really comprehensible. It's all written. Yeah, well, in I'm stuff. stuffing a bunch of them in my bag, of, <laughs> my bag, so I can retranslate them later. Yeah, you know, we're just kind of like this looks very similar to the letter I got. I wonder. <laughs> Who are those you women count for? yourself lucky. Uh, you give me a second. But you, you, them, you seem to have gotten a letter from the emperor. But you're able to. Voice. But but how and why now? And why me? I don't know. I mean, we can ask him when we get there. Da -da -da -da. Well. <laughs> Uh, in the far distance, however, my head, because I'm gonna see my head, and Kaylee's actually, <laughs> in the in the mountains, in the far distance, you see a sudden avalanche. It is dozens of miles away, a lot of books fall, not books, but pieces of paper falling, and eventually the sound of the rumbling reaching you fully. But then you see something else, shimmering, glintening. As you see vibrations of the mountains and the floor of paper seem to be shifting, pulling, and approaching your vicinity. Not too long after, you can all hear the shakiness of a vibration. And what feels like, or sounds like, a cracking of metal by the hundreds, thousands a piece a second. Anything you wish to do? I know what I want to do, but I'm going to wait till somebody else does something first. I kind of get closer to the ground, or aka the tent is disc, hiding my, uh, <laughs> How do you get any of it? Okay. No Kayla's one? kind of standing, kind of... Kalis was standing on the tensor's disc, but he'll step off of it onto the paper and kind of face where the vibrations are coming from. <laughs> so, as you position yourself okay. forward... Is that everyone? Because I was going to do something. I was waiting for everybody yeah, else to do sure. something first. <laughs> Grim. Grim clogged and shouts. Rhett, we have come to seek you. The, the shuddering stops for a few <clears throat> seconds. And the shuddering moves basically to the side of the mountain above you. And out of nowhere... Out of the pile of these pages that fall down and make another slight avalanche several hundred feet away, a massive a hundred feet uh, wide, it seems to be an eye of metal and a wire emerges. Uh, immediately it's light. 
pierces all of you. You can and hear Grim Cloak bubbling behind his mask. Hmm. That was lucky. Name recognized. Colors unrecognized. What are you? We are travelers working for the eldest son. And what? Searching for you. Why does he want me? We were not told. He is gathering his siblings for something. I see. Tell him that I'm not present. I am complex to be inside the Materium plane. Too complex, you said? Uh, complex to be. To be. Not in the material plane. Somewhere else. No. It, in the material no, plane. He's... No, I know. That's what Ms. Het says out loud. He says he's not in the material plane. He's somewhere else. Yeah. You just we put him on the material are. plane. We're not in the material plane. Negative. You're in the arc plane. Okay. <clears throat> Write it down. <laughs> Can you spell that? A R A R K, right? I think R C. Or, oh, it is Ark. Ark, Ark. Only makes sense. I believe he is here, at least somewhere adjacent to here. You must request designation Eldest Son to expel individuals of unknown genetic makeup back to the plane to find to be to find me real me Oh! Ah. So... <clears throat> If you are not real you, what are you? Designation Ret Dash Arc. Shall we go back? Well, maybe he knows where the sister is. This is designation Boom. Uh, All right. Who's got it written down? I got it. <laughs> I believe their name was Olia. Olia? Yeah. Yeah. Tracking, searching, found it. Approximate location, located. Approximate distance, seventeen thousand two hundred seventy-two miles. Yeah, Precise quickest... location. Yeah, the quickest route. <laughs> At the next intersection, please <laughs> turn around. Please take a U-turn. Please take a U-turn. Please take. A <laughs> <laughs> At the next junction, please take a U-turn. Travel. At the next junction, please take a U-turn. <laughs> Alternative found teleportation available within approximately 3.2 miles away from location. Oh, good. I don't think my legs could have handled that. Uh, nearest teleporter? Or are you taking us there? Or getting us there? I will produce a teleportation mechanism, DD2, for your teleportation needs. Oh. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, once we... Oh! What's hmm? this? 
I hold out the mechanics. <laughs> I hold out the sparks, the mechanics, the internals. Scanning designation, designation confirmed, soul wire. Oh! What's soul wire? Soul wire. What? Soul wire is classification denied. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, oh, unless I, I was going to say the final question, unless okay. somebody else has something else to ask. Mm, oh. you I, have one I know what Grimplug and... would ask, but oh. at this point, mm. Grimplug is not going to mm. talk about anything because at this point, he's more focused on the task ahead than asking mm -hmm. this creep. Try to not piss this guy off. <laughs> what is good? Hold up the letter and ask, what is this? Ooh. What is it? A letter. <laughs> Clarif okay. Clarification. Who sent it? Scanning. Scanning. Access denied. Security clearance. Too low. What? Why did they send it to me? Unknown. I think that's part of to say, I think that's I, part I, of the security he clearance. What Even security he doesn't know. clearance is required? Cur current, uh, a current security level of creatures of gene different genetic mixture, zero. Maximum security level, six. And how do we increase the... Uh... Unknown genetic material creatures uh, security level. Quarry understood. Quarry search. Quarry found. You receive permits from individuals with higher security clearance than your own. And where's the needy person? Nope. I think we have met such a person. At least for for now. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. But other than that, we see us being new to this place, we don't seem to have a grasp upon the language here. Is there a cipher if we can have? Cipher can be produced to compensate your lesser dialect. Quarry error. Insufficient security clearance, level two required. Mm. Mm. Right. Would you be able to raise our security clearance? X is denied. Reason I am a copy of the original writ. Only the original writ has the clearance level to provide you with Clearance level up to five. And where is he? Well, he's on. We already was told. He's in a different. He's on the main plane. Material mm. plane. Yes. Well. All right. Well, I think we're ready to go and find. Where we take the teleportation device. And go to. And go to her. Indeed. No additional quarries required for you to continue? No. Not we at this current moment. Unless we, we would be able to return to you and ask further, should we need. Understood. Teleportation matrix will be produced within 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Stand by. As all of a sudden, uh, about 20 feet away from you, there's a <laughs> massive crackling spark that appears. Seems to grow inch by inch as seconds pass. Anything you wish to do while those three minutes until seconds pass? The first thing I would do is. <laughs> the first thing. <laughs> Grimclog would just say to. Well, I will just call him Robo Red for the time being. Uh -huh. As in. Yeah. I would just say this. We appreciate the assistance. Thank you. 
Your compliment was acknowledged. Thank you. I am committing. I am just staring at committing as much of its appearance to memory as possible. Uh, you can only perception if you wanna. If you wanna figure out something more about it. Oh, I would very much like that. Uh, I will give you assistance helpful. on that. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's see how well, well that does then. Uh, that's a 12. That is my passive perception. Oh, no. It is, okay. it is, it is, I just sketch it then it is to about, the best of my ability. Yeah, it is about 150 feet wide, and the actual iris is about 100 feet. You don't know if it's what creature looms behind the mountain, <laughs> but you really don't want to think about it. Yeah, it's a pretty big. It's a big oh, I know fella. this is very big. Yeah. I will be honest, it was not something that I expected to see so far out in the desert. I believe we can now well, discern we are no longer in the desert. We are no longer in the, the, mat the material plane, for that matter. I was wondering why this was so vast without anybody of ever coming up upon it. It's not even on this, on the other realm. Somehow they managed magic. to... There is magic to travel between the realms, is there not? There is, but does it not in all... Does it, does it not require a metal from the plane? From here, yes, it would. But the only problem is, is I currently do not have access to that kind of magic. I, I, I kind of, I kind of take Blaster's, Blaster's head and kind of tilt it towards the head, who is probably still grabbing the sheets of paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It just it clicks. Oh, that's how. That's how we got here. Oh. So it was purposely sent so that they could be br we could be brought here. Mm. Oh. Okay. I just came up with another thing I kind of wanted to ask Red, but I mean, I'll... you can ask. There's he's just staring at all of you. Raxus? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Grimcloak is going to pull out a certain platinum-looking book for a moment, and looking at it. That's so it. let's see. Yeah. This is uh, it. I... He's going to see if there's a reaction. That's it. But otherwise, if it's nothing, he's just going to put it away again. No, there's there's the same observation of all of you. Kalis you... would pull out a, a box of black metal. Uh huh. That he got, and he would hold it up towards Red Dash Arc, and say, "Query, where does this metal originate?" Yeah, the material components. Error. Your declarance is not allowed to disclose this information. Level 6. Oh! There's, oh! There's what's kind of an... there's, there's kind of an <laughs> eyebrow raise from Kalis as he slowly puts the box away and walks back to where Blester is, a thoughtful expression on his face. Oh, you come up with a question for him? Hmm? For the big guy? The, the robot then? I don't think he sees me. 
<laughs> you see this Grim Clog? He's just waiting. He's waiting. He's not doing anything. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's been chilling. It is a gift that I was given. In any sense, it should be it should be done by now. Well, zap, zap, zap. The the coils and uh, where the portal began is now just massive amalgamation of lightning and sparks. You know, all of a sudden, with a resounding boom, a swirling circle appears, a lot larger than any of you several times, that seemingly places you somewhere uh randomly just just in pitch darkness you don't see anything <laughs> uh, we're just in darkness now we teleport to darkness well i mean there's a portal to darkness you will you take it yes <laughs> uh. yeah grim kalis kind of does also have that uncomfortable vibe yeah it, it game clock's like yeah this doesn't look good but this is the way we're going i'm going in <sighs> it's e either here or staying here and we're asking questions with the metal man in paper <laughs> it's like darkness it is Grim. <laughs> you have and and kayla's kind of motions at the air like the light correct perhaps it would be best if we went first Sure, that would be wise. So, and of course, he makes a glowing rock again. So, I assume everybody goes in? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you're back yes. in a crimson metallic environment. But this time, uh, <laughs> bless her. From your shoulders, there is this ray of bluish light that seems to spread out in a random direction until you realize it seems to guide you, almost like a compass, to where potentially uh, Olya might be. Passive insight. But anyway, with that being said and done, it's been three hours. I think we can call it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It has been three hours. That's a good point. Yeah. So, uh, hey, he, nobody died. Nobody shot each other. So, <laughs> uh, the fire was Yay. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that I was fired I'm upon. Tell my brother now. If technically, we be let's back. Anyway, with that being said and done, anything you want to say before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors? My the daughter may the... be from an ancient civilization. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, do, we, do we have to? Yes. I, I think Tradition. we really need to get together at some point and brainstorm like a different <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> this is really not working. <laughs> it's, 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 it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over.